Size Scale of the Milky Way Galaxy The Milky Way Galaxy is a collection of stars and interstellar gas and dust held together by gravitational forces. Our Sun and Solar System of Planets is just one of roughly 100 to 400 billion such solar systems in this galaxy. The Milky Way Galaxy is tremendous in size. While distances in our solar system are typically measured in astronomical units, distances within our galaxy are measured using parsecs or light years. In this video, I'll use light years as my distance unit. But let's back up. An astronomical unit or 1 AU, is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth, or 93 million miles. A light year is the distance a photon of light moving at 186,000 miles per second can travel in one year. A light year is roughly 6 trillion miles, and that is also equivalent to roughly 63,000 astronomical units. The diameter of our solar system, including the Oort cloud of comets, is roughly 100,000 AU. But our Milky Way is much larger. Its diameter is 100,000 light years. To put this into perspective, imagine the solar system was the size of an American football field. At this scale, the Milky Way galaxy would be the size of the entire United States of America. If you zoomed out in a satellite image of the United States, there is no way to discern any detail so small as a football field, let alone any other human-made features. It's a similar situation with our galaxy. If we were to zoom out to look at the entire galaxy edge to edge, individual stars would not be identifiable. Only the collection of stars as a whole would be visible, along with the dramatic lanes of gas and dust that weave throughout the galaxy's disk and the galaxy's spectacular spiral arms. The disk of the galaxy would be 100,000 light years from edge to edge. In addition to stars, the disk contains clouds of gas and dust called nebulae and open star clusters inhabited by collections of recently formed stars. Such individual objects as open star clusters and nebulae are at most a few dozen light years in size. Like individual stars, they would be too small to see when looking at the scale of the entire galaxy. In this image, an accurate rendering of our Milky Way, we are only seeing stars and nebulae in aggregate. The shape of the galaxy is determined by the orbits of the stars and material in it. Most orbits occupy a round and flat area called the disk. The disk surrounds a bulge of stars which is at the center. Stars within the bulge are primarily old and devoid of elements heavier than helium. Stars within the rest of the disk are both young and old, and there is a great variety in the abundances of heavy elements. Stars within the disk create a pattern of spiral arms, making our Milky Way an example of a spiral galaxy. Seen from top down, the Milky Way would resemble many of the spectacular spiral galaxies astronomers have imaged using Earth and space-based telescopes. If viewed from the edge, our Milky Way would be a thin disk with a thickness of 1,000 light years. This European Southern Observatory animation provides a viewing perspective change from top down to edge on. The central bulge would be prominent, as would the extensive dark structures of gas and dust. By investigating our solar system's distance relative to other objects in the Milky Way, such as globular star clusters, astronomers have determined our position in the galaxy. The Sun and solar system are located in one of the Milky Way's spiral arms, roughly 25,000 light years from the central bulge. The Milky Way is not an isolated galaxy. It is one of nearly 60 galaxies that comprise what astronomers call the local group. Most of these galaxies are small compared to the Milky Way, but the Andromeda Galaxy is about the same size as our own, with a similar spiral structure. The Andromeda Galaxy's distance is 2.5 million light years away from the Milky Way, making it our closest large neighbor in extragalactic space.